hi everyone welcome to our new video today we're going to show you how to scan on uh, hp uh, uh, office jet pro uh, 8610 or 8600 or 8620 8630 there are many of this series but most of the hps which has a scan usb to usb or whatever is uh, similar anyway Today we're gonna do USB, but also it's not that difficult. Also on the PC, so you got USB with here with you. So you insert it here. Okay. Once you insert it there, you can go home here. Let's say now found in photos. Okay, that's fine. So you get your papers. You can put them on the glass or you put them here. When you put them here. It's easier than putting them on the glass here see that's different so now we're gonna put them here once you put them there the machine should give you some beep so now you just go straight to let me zoom in for you go straight to scan it will give you a chance to choose the resolution or whatever most people you need to do color PDF you leave it like the way it is PDF black, 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 no color, gonna leave it in color. JPEG, if you want to do a JPEG, if you want to make it compressed file so that the file is not that heavier, you make it a little bit lighter depending on where you're going to upload that. So, on that, there are many, many options here. Also, TIFF is there, but now we chose PDF color. After doing so, you can go home. Uh, then you go to scan USB. Then you start what? You start scan. Start. Once you start, what's going to happen? It's going to take one by one page. Okay, the machine tells us that we scanned five pages. You can see. Okay, that's what we do. So now, one mistake I made. I can see the mistake I made. One page was upside down. So which means one page is going to be blank on that. But anyway, the objective is to show you what we're going to do here. Okay, in case you don't have a USB, you just come here, go back. Then it's gonna say scan. You can see network folder. If you say network folder, what will happen? You can say scan. Then you put in the pin, whatever pin you want to put in. Well, let's go back, leave that. Scan. There's an option of an email. Since this printer is, you can see it's it's connected to it's connected to the email to to network so it scans to email you get me so it can scan to email when you do the setup so i took out this requisites so, so you have to hp digital filing setup so this paper is going to show you how to set up everything you understand on scan to email and all that you get me that document is going to help you 100 percent so now what we want to show you is simple most people what they have they have usb or the computer you click on computer if your computer is connected but if it's not connected then it won't do that you get me so that's it guys um 
but this time our computer is not connected but if it's connected if you're using windows it's even very very easy and uh, if you're using linux on windows you can say you can download the software or the time you install connect your pc using a cable um usb cable to this computer printer it could download itself the what the drivers on linux there is a software you also to download but this printer is on network already but just it's on linux which i didn't download you can see which i didn't download uh, the drivers to scan but anyway we've seen for the usb i'm gonna take out the usb here and i show you how the folder looks like okay you click here you will find the folder called hp scans there you can see this it's easier now to do to see your scans you can see You can see all are blank why <laughs> remember i put one upside down and others in a different position but there are five you can see this the first one remember what i showed you on the screen before yeah well so once you're done with that you could either attach this thing or delete it whatever but if you leave this scan um when you scan again on the same usb it will never create another folder. It's gonna create another scan. It gives it scan file file. It gives it a different what name. Well, that's it. And uh, hope to see you in the next video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. We can delete our stuff here. Move to trash permanently want to delete it permanently right so that I don't have any issues so I'm gonna eject my USB yeah take it out nicely that's it guys yeah thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video remember most of HP's what I've done you can do it even if it's not this the same series you get me of what you've seen here Yeah, it's been a nice video. And please, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment box below. And don't forget to subscribe.